Hello, I'm Way Lemonade, or you can call me Allie. I want to show you these animal danglies that I've made. I've made a whole bunch of them. If you could leave me a comment saying of the one that you like the best and which one I should make more of, that would be super helpful. I did mention this in a past video, but I will be going to a convention sometime in August, towards the end of August. So I'm making a whole bunch of pieces to bring there too, not just because I'm opening up my store July 18th, the 18th of, th of this month. Ooh, I'm getting excited. But that aside, I'm going to a convention at the end of August, so I am making a whole bunch of pieces, and it would be really great to get your feedback. This was inspired by, like, the animal danglies were inspired by Artsy Rush. I'll put a link to her channel down below. I was inspired by two of her videos, the Husky Clay Earrings, as well as the Eevee Evolution Earrings that she made. I'll also link those down below so you can check out those videos. So this full credit goes towards her for the idea. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made these. So thank you for the inspiration, Artsy Rush. Now on to my an animal danglies. I made a whole bunch of different animals and I want to show them all to you. But first off, these are some of the fails, I would say. I'm going to remake them. Starting off with this. These are two little bunny heads. They aren't as symmetrical as I'd hoped, so I'm going to be remaking them so they look more identical as I know I can do better. So these are them. And... The bodies are fine, but the heads were just a bit messed up. These are two little bears. The problem with this is that I used a sponge brush and I glazed with Mod Podge with the sponge brush and it left little bubbly pockets of glaze. The difference between my design and Artsy Rush's, I definitely got inspired from her, but she attaches this eye pin to a butterfly backing clip. So a butterfly backing clip looks like this. She attaches the eye pin in between there. I just glued mine directly to the back because mine looked really weird if I didn't. So those are them. I'm gonna be remaking those as well as these two black cats. Their tails dingle dangle, that's why they're called animal danglies, or at least that's why I call them animal danglies. Same reason as the bears, the, the glaze just went a little haywire. So I recommend you use a paintbrush instead of a sponge brush applicator. So those are them. I was thinking of selling them for $18, the good ones. And let me know if you think that price is reasonable or unreasonable. They will come with the butterfly backings along with those. <coughs> so now on to the many animal danglies that I've made. I've made a whole bunch and let me just see if I can get this more in frame for you guys. Sorry for the adjustments. There we go. I'll go through them one by one. Okay, <laughs> I need to take a breather. Starting off with these. Here are the koalas. They are koala. I'll show you the back of one and the front of the other. They look pretty similar. They have tails. That's what the guy looks like. I'm gonna keep my hand in front to make sure my camera does not unfocus. These are some walruses. Ooh, just dropped it. Those are them. I try to make them look as similar as possible, but it is hard because I am not a robot. <laughs> Which I guess is a good thing, right? This is an alpaca. I've got a puppy dog. Just like a generic puppy dog. These sheepy or lambs, they're really cute. Got a little tail at the back side too. There's that. Next up are rhinos. These gators, like an alligator or crocodile. I'm not sure, I'm guessing it would be a crocodile because the face is more rounded. There's that. And this is a little white kitty. Really cute. I want to leave the backs of those because they have the tails on the front. This is a monkey. It's really cute. Up here are some seals. Next to that one are these elephants. They have little tails. 
these are some turtles. And these are really detailed. The shells are really textured. So there's that guy. This one has a darker shell and I have one with a lighter shell as well. So there's that little dude. Here are two manatees. Panda bears. These are one of the first animal danglies that I ended up making. Now here are some hippos. Ooh, I dropped it. I was doing so good too. It's okay, my floor is carpeted, so it's safe. Little tail. Here are some moles. I have a very wide selection of animals and these came out really cute. Next up are these bulldogs. <laughs> They're so cute. Like little faces. And this is their butt. Oof, that was really close. These are one of my favorites. These are two horses. Got textured hair. Look like this. Really cute. Got two piggies. I think they're all cute. <laughs> piggies. Trying not to block this. this. Try not to block the piece, but I'm trying not to block the sun. And they've got little curly whirly tails on the back side. These are kangaroos. Two little brown birds. I'm trying to wait for my camera to focus. Penguins. Two little pink birdies. Hedgehogs. These are really great. And they're textured at the back, so they have the little spikes. Really cute. A lion. I've got two pairs of foxes, so they're these ones. That's what their faces look like. And then there's these guys. They have a bit of a smaller face to them. Oops. But they do have the painted front and the white tail still. And then I've got Pug. It's very similar to the bulldog, but that's what they look like. Also, the, all the feet are textured unless they are hoofed animals. And lastly, I have sloths. I made a bunch of them because I think they're really adorable. This one need to glue again. They're different colored sloths. So I have a, a three pairs of them. So those are them. I've got a darker pair, lighter pair. They're super cute. There's that, and they've got little tails that are textured as well. Alright, thank you so much for watching, and until next time.